Hey everyone, welcome back to another Better Call Saul reaction. In the last episode, there were some interesting developments. It looks like Chuck's electromagnetic affliction or allergy or whatever it is, is somewhat, at least somewhat psychological. I, hopefully we find out more about the origin of whatever precipitating event caused that. The other thing, a um, couple more interesting things, it looks like Jimmy is going to go into elder law, which looks like a safe and respectable form of law. But with Jimmy, we never know. And finally, we saw a little bit about Mike at the end. It looks like he and his daughter maybe have a strained relationship. And it looks like he's also either being investigated or arrested at the very end. I hope we get more information about that. I'm going to jump right into the show and see. Before we do that, however, if you're enjoying this content, sm please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We also have a Patreon where you get early access to all of our full unedited reactions. Oh, they are going to give a backstory about Mike here. So I wonder if he's just arrived from Philadelphia. Mike. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, so this is the lady we saw in the last episode. Let me chat front. Okay. I think it's the same woman. Janitor, anybody here? Why is he going into the woman, women's room? Oh, does he have a cut? Ooh, did he get shot or something? I don't think a maxi pad is the best thing. Ooh! Somehow the idea of Mike using a maxi pad is just a little bit funny. So I'm wondering whatever happened to him in Philadelphia resulted in a gunfight. Or it looks that way anyways. Mm, I like this intro. Is this Kaylee? <laughs> Aww. Alright, come on down. You take a little break. A little break. Go on. Good kid. Yeah, she is. How you doing? I'm, yeah, I'm okay, you know, adjusting. And Kaylee? She still asks about him. Where's daddy? Oh. Yeah. So Kaylee's dad is gone? I'm better, and I'm sorry it took me so long, but I'm not like I was. I'm solid. I want to be here for you, for Kaylee, for my family. So that must be his daughter-in-law. Mike, I gotta ask, I mean, how before Maddie died, mm. like, for a few weeks there, he was different. Moody, you know? Maybe he was into trouble. He clammed right up. Cops aren't real touchy-feely, you know that. <laughs> They're not. This wasn't the normal tough guys don't cry crap. As far as I remember, he seemed okay. He seemed okay to me. Before he died, there was this phone call. I go to listen on the stairs where he couldn't see. He gets <laughs> intense. Angry. He was really angry. What was he saying? I don't know. I couldn't hear it. But I think, I think he was talking to you. What? Me. He knew he could call you anytime he had a problem, and there was something in his voice. It was how he was talking. It makes me think it was you. Stace, I don't think it was. Maybe it was a CI or a case. Is he lying to her? I know what you're doing, replaying it over and over. Mmm, that's tough. You don't think I haven't had those thoughts? I do. Mike's very stoic. Maddie's gone. That's really all there is to it. Hmm, kind of a hard way of looking at it. Yeah. I guess that's that. It's getting on. I gotta put her to bed. Okay. Wow, now there's another backstory I need to know about. I wanna help. So obviously Mike's son was shot, but I wanna find out what exactly what happened and how it happened. Ooh. Where to? You know this town? Yeah, sure. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> You sew this up yourself? Bet there's a story there. Isn't mm. there always? 
That is so true. That ought to do it. You're going to want to take it easy. Is Mike going to adopt a dog? There's a Walgreens a couple blocks over in Louisiana. Maybe go get yourself a sling. You don't have one? Got a cone you could put around it's... your neck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think Mike would be down with a cone. So it's going to be 500? 500. Ooh, it's a bit steep. You new in town? Yeah. Passing through or sticking around? He wants to take advantage of Mike. I know people. I can get you some work. I am not looking for that kind of work. So this vet's a little bit crooked, too. Could have been friendly. Could have talked in your house. Lawyer. It's just a couple of questions. Uh, ain't nothing but a thing. Lawyer. Mm. Expecting more cooperation from you on this. Cop to cop. Lawyer. Lawyer. <laughs> Mike is so predictable. Is he going to call Jimmy? What lawyer? Better call Saul. Oh, yes. Jimmy. Need a will? Call McGill. Airman truck. Who's got him and where? This is where their long relationship begins. What? You look like Matt Love. What? <laughs> Where's my guy? Say hello to Barney Fife. Wrong show, but thanks for playing. <laughs> the mayor didn't give you enough stickers? Oh. Oh, here's your coffee. Billing you the full hour for it. Oh. All right, here's what's going to happen. Those two cops out there are from Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. The young one who's been writing in his little note, take it and put it in his jacket. And when he does that, I want you to take that coffee and spill it on him. What? Little accident, that's all. Oh, Mike's a schemer. So I'm here because you want me to assault a police officer. I doubt that satisfies the definition of assault. It's not really in a lawyer's job description. All you want is for me to aid in the bet you ripping off that guy's note pet. But are you nuts? You can't be serious. You owe me one. That is true. I'm going to behave like an honest to God licensed attorney. Yeah, like like you've ever been that. That's what I'm going to do. And you're going to be happy as hell that I'm here. Oh, you don't tell Mike what to do. Detective Escalera will be sitting in with us. Fine with me. Can we talk already? We're here looking into this Hoffman and Fensky thing. Hoffman? Fensky? Fill me in. Jesus, seriously? Don't let Mr. Airman Trout's dancing eyes and bon vivant personality <laughs> fool you. <laughs> Oh my God. Start at the beginning, okay? We're talking Book of Genesis. Mr. Ermitrout had a son, Matt. He mm. too was with Philly PD. He was a good cop. Yes, he was. He responded to a shots fired call. Matt went in with his partner, Officer Troy Hoffman. They had Sergeant Jack Fenske backing them up. The three of them were ambushed and Matt didn't make it out. Oh. The shooter got away. We kept beating the bushes, kept coming up dry until three months ago. That's when Hoffman and Fenske both turned up dead in a vacant lot out in Nice Town. Well, it's our operating theory that Hoffman and Fenske were mixed up in something. Some bad business. They think Mike killed Maybe them? Maybe that got Matt killed. What does my client have to do with any of this? Uh, Mike, this is a Hail Mary. Hard evidence of leads, we wouldn't be out here. Well, then they shouldn't be questioning them. Help us catch the bastard who killed Matty. I don't know much about Hoffman and Fenske. I saw him in a bar the night they died. Were they drinking with anyone? I couldn't tell you. I was... You know how it was. Mm. When did you come out of here to Albuquerque? I think it was the very next day. The day after Hoffman and Fenske died, huh? Oh, that looks suspicious. You didn't come back for the funerals, correct? Even though Hoffman was Matt's partner? Talk to Hoffman or Fenske at all. Sorry, I got nothing. They weren't my people. Are we done here? We're done here, yeah. Is he gonna spill the coffee? Crazy. Here she thinks of something, huh? I've never been out west before. Oh, hey! Oh! oh. 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 He did! Oh, Sorry. I can get most of you know what? Hey, Sorry. thank you. He wrecked his notepad. Oh, Mike will be happy that Saul did what he asked. Oh, for the love. You got to do that right here? <laughs> How did you know that I would uh, spill that coffee? <laughs> what the hell's that? <laughs> What's... <laughs> That's <Yeah>. Mike. <laughs> okay, great. You're the strong, silent type. That's a great description of Mike. Your friends from Philly back there, they think you killed two cops. Yep. Interesting. It'll be interesting to find out if Mike actually did kill them in an effort to save his son's life. Because it looks like Mike had gotten shot, so maybe he tried to intervene and save his son's life. Mike retires. Better call Saul. Yeah, it's me. We need to talk. 
You called the cops? No, oh, it was her. Did you call him? Yeah, I did. Why? I heard about Hoffman and Fenske. Did what? Oh, geez. First, Matt, six months later, his partner and his sergeant called them to help catch Maddie's killer. You tell them Matt was dirty? I didn't say that. I, I told them I found money. Five, six thousand from God knows where. Why didn't you come to me? I knew what it would do to you. And you wouldn't talk to me. I don't care. He was dirty. He was clean. I don't care. All I want is for whoever killed Maddie to rot in a cell for the rest of their life. I don't care where it leads what it uncovers. I mean, difference would it make if he was anything? I'd still love him. Matt wasn't dirty. Well, so be straight with me. Phone call. Don't bullshit me. That was between me and my son. So you're admitting it was you. He wasn't dirty. You get that through your head. My son wasn't dirty. Oh. So I guess this is the origin of their argument. So this is obviously back in Philadelphia. I wonder if it's possible that Hoffman and Fenske, if they were the ones that shot Matt and maybe Mike went after and killed them. I don't know. That's just my thought process. Oh. What is he doing? I assume this was the night Matt was killed. Is that Hoffman and Fenske there? So maybe Hoffman and Fenske were going after Matt for some reason and then Mike intervened. Hey Mike. What? I love how Mike's acting, acting drunk when I don't think he really is. Closing time, Mikey. Yeah, 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 okay. So Mike obviously lied to the officers. Sold my car so I'm walking. Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's where I'm headed. Oh. Tarantulas they got. <laughs> That's big minus in my book. Well, we saw tarantulas in, in Breaking Bad. Oh, I'm a little worried for Mike. He's not so sober. And I know he's tough, but... Hey, Mike! Oh. Oh, shoot. You wanna ride? I'm walking. Over here. Uh-oh. Yeah, these Hoffman and Fenske guys are definitely clowns. Come on. I'm walking. Come on, don't, don't be an ass. Come, Come on, on, get in the car ready. ready. Come on. They can't just take him into the car like that. Uh -huh. Hey, hurry up. That's mine. Oh, can't just take his gun. We don't want you to shoot your foot off now, do we? Oh no. These guys are obviously dirty cops. And maybe Matt knew that they were dirty cops. Oh, I'm worried for Mike. Mike, are you with us? Why? I know we shoot. What's that supposed to mean? Oh. You think you know why? Something you want to say to us? You killed Maddie. Oh! And you killed him for nothing. Oh, I knew it. You were scared what you thought he might do. Turn them in. Expose them as dirty cops. And you staged it. Oh my god, Mike. May look like a junkie with a gun. Mmm. That is not a good time to be making this declaration. But it was you. And I know it was you. Mm. I'm gonna prove it. This is not good for Mike. Yeah, they they're definitely guilty. They're sweating. So Mike is totally under their control right now. Ooh. Help me get him out of the car. Unless he's faking drunkenness, he could be faking. He could be more sober than he is making out to be. Yes. What? Come on. One, two, one, two. What are they going to try to do to him? I'm going to work this whole thing out, okay, Mikey? Grief, it's a bitch. He couldn't live with it. Not dying the way he did. So Mikey had decided to eat his gun. Oh! But anyone could oh, see this. Oh, shit. Thing. He's drinking himself to death. We're doing him a favor. Oh, these guys are such Smart. assholes. Oh. <laughs> what I would have done if oh. I were you. Oh! Wow! Oh. Oh. That's where Mike got shot. Ooh. Sorry, buddy, you're not getting away. No, you're not getting away. Nice try. You're done. No mercy from Mike. I mean, those guys deserved what they got. 
I love how Mike faked drunkenness the whole time. It was awesome. They took him in, in the middle of nowhere to kill him, and he got them exactly where he wanted. Mike is brilliant. Wow. I love the shot of him just walking out between the gates casually. You bust a drug dealer has more cash than you'll ever earn in a lifetime. Some of it doesn't make it back into evidence. So what? It's like killing Caesar. Everyone's guilty. Matt wasn't dirty. I was. Oh. Everyone was in that precinct. You turn in your buddy, you're screwing yourself. Mm-hmm. You go along to get along. They were all dirty. And you went along. I did. Not Matt. Fenske got to Hoffman early. Hoffman went to Maddie, offered to cut him in. Only fair, right? They were partners. And Matt did what you would think. He agonized. Mm. And then he came to me. That's why he got killed, because he was going to turn his guys. No, no. I told him, <laughs> you know what a cop fears most? Don't. Prison. Oh. You threaten a cop with that, you make him dangerous. Mm. And that's what I told him. No one was getting hurt. He had a wife, a kid. Take the money. Do something good with it. <laughs> Oh, uh, I tried. Oh. But he wouldn't listen. Wow, he had great, he had My very strong moral stubborn. standards. Just like you, Mike. You're stubborn, too. My boy too. was strong. And he was going to get himself killed. I told him I did it, too. No. Oh. And that's what you heard that night. He put me up on a pedestal. And I had to show him that I was down in the gutter with the rest of them. Oh. Broke my boy. Oh. I broke my boy. He went to Hoffman, he took the money, but he hesitated. To those two, meant that he couldn't be trusted. I got Maddie to take the money. And they killed him two days later. He was the strongest person that I ever knew. He would never done it. I was the only one. I was the only one that could get him to debase himself like that. Oh. And it was for nothing. Oh, that's the worst. I made him lesser. I made him like me. And then he ended up dying. Oh. And the bastards killed him anyway. Yeah, that's just, oh. Oh, that's a horrible story. Oh, my God. Oh, Mike. Oh. Mike's been living with that his whole life. Hoffman and Fenske. If they killed Maddie. Oh, who killed them? Who killed them? Mm. I knew that was coming. What happened? You know what happened. Mm -hmm. The question is, can you live with it? I wonder if those were the first people Mike ever killed. At least away from his responsibilities as an officer. Wow. Okay. Wow. That was a wow, that was a bit of an emotional episode. Um, I just found out that, um, or I guess. Uh, the big reveal was that Mike actually, first of all, Mike's son died because he had, unfortunately, he had very strong, I mean, it's a good thing to have strong moral standards, but un unfortunately, in the police department that he was in, everybody was corrupt, including obviously Hoffman and Fenske, and of course, Mike himself, Mike himself. And it was absolutely heartbreaking to hear that Mike tried to taint his son's morals not because he not because he wasn't proud of his son for having strong moral courage but because he wanted him to be safe and he corrupted matt but it was too late and so matt changed his morals for nothing which basically is a lose-lose situation i haven't seen mike get that emotional before I think back to the story he told about the, the half measures in Breaking Bad and how he had the chance to kill somebody, but he stopped and then they ended up killing their wife. And this, this kind of reminded me of that in that Mike feels guilty and responsible for his son's death because he tried to change his son's morals, but it was, or he tried to convince his son just to take the money, but it was too late. So that's another, I guess, another burden on Mike's back. And now we knew, now we know why he was shot in the, it looks like the shoulder or the side of his chest was from the Hoffman and Fenske duel. I do have to admit, I love how he feigned, I love how he faked being drunk. I wasn't really sure if he was faking or if he actually did get drunk, but uh, he, he did a great job with getting Hoffman and Fenske to take him to an abandoned warehouse and to, to uh, 
want to kill him and um, of course Mike um, Mike always wins and he did there so um, we didn't see much of Saul it was pretty much all about Mike which was great because Mike is definitely one of my favorite characters from Breaking Bad and I love I love getting more of Mike's backstory as we go along and we did get a huge dive into Mike's life there in terms of the death of the tragic death of his son and then his strained relationship with his daughter-in-law who in a way kind of blames Mike for that and Mike blames himself but he he was also trying to change her perception of Matt as a dirty cop and Mike didn't want his son to be seen that way he was very adamant that he was that he had high moral standards despite the I guess the toxic culture in the Philadelphia Police Department not too much about Saul um, other than or Jimmy other than the fact that Jimmy and Mike now have of uh, started a long and wonderful relationship that I can't wait to get more glimpses into. Uh, I wonder if the next episode has more Mike in it or if it's more focused on Jimmy. I assume it's we go back to Jimmy's life. Can't wait to do that with you guys and I will see you in the next one.